Hey everyone, so this is the next video in the series about Wiremark tutorial. So this video I am going to talk about selective proxy. Right? So far we have covered all this topic. All the videos are uploaded on the channel. You can go ahead and check out this. So let me show you the use case for the selective proxy. What are the uh, cases? What are the scenarios that uh, we have to use this selective selective proxy? Thing, right. So this is the uh, sample project structure that we are demoing around so you are highly aware about this one controller service gateway and this is the payment api and this is the wiremark server we have seen jvm and standalone as well right so the use case for the current video is this is the payment api the actual running payment api while writing the test i want to interact with this one right so with the running service i want to interact right so but the problem with the service is that there are some endpoints like pay money update these two are ready but fraud check service is still in development so the point is some of the endpoints are developed but some of the endpoints are not developed but still this service development is almost complete and we are dependent on this one so what you can do first thing we can do that wait for the completion of this fraud check service then interact but that's not the ideal use case I know the request sample request and re response what is the structure of that one so what we can do what are the available what are the implemented endpoints I, I can interact with those one and what if that is not developed I can stub that one with the wiremark right so how to do mix of things actual interaction and stubbing how we can do both of these in the same test case I am going to show you that in this video. So this is the ticket booking service where we are writing the test, stubbing and rec recording and this is our pay money service, right? So earlier in the previous video, all the endpoints were ready, but for now, uh, for the demo purpose, I have commented out the fraud check service, right? So this is not going to return me anything. So a payments and update, it is ready. So now let me just, I'm just going to take the existing test case that we already have written so that we can relate the pre with the previous one that why it is. So I do not have to do a lot of coding. So I'm just taking this one, right? So just copy and paste in, put it this in one folder. Proxing, right? So created. Minimize this one. So to use this scenario and just uh, going to use this one as it is uh, as it is so let's create the first scenario that we have so the stubbing part uh, now that i do not need it so just remove this one so this is the request uh, this one set fraud alert uh, it is going to uh, this means it is going to call the fraud endpoints as well right so for now just remove this one i do not want this scenario for now I want to create the first first create the happy scenario that is there right so wirebox server is ready but to do the proxy thing right so for now it is hitting the wirebox server but wirebox server should internally hit the actual api right so how we can do that so in the setup part itself i am going to uh, write the stubbing part stuff for any 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 uh, any for any url pattern not this one any any URL pattern uh, will return a response uh, which is uh, not a priority but which is proxied from the actual URL HTTP right so the meaning of this one that uh, when you your wiremark server is running and your test cases that are going to hit this pay money api payment processor gateway it is going to hit the wiremark server internally it is going to try to hit the this localhost 8082 right so what it is doing any url that is coming uh, it will give the response from this one 8082 right so actually so the test case the way that we are writing so our test case is going to contact the wiremark server wiremark server is going to contact the third party service right so we have this test case which is uh, we have ticket booking payment request local date is this pay for booking is this one and this is the uh, ticket booking uh, response right and assertion part is here and i know in the ticket booking response our pay money api is all the time payment id it is uh, returning a uuid 
so which is all the time a different one right so i do not want to uh, change as i want to uh, get the response all the time from the third party that will be different so only the success only the the response status i am going to compare not the payment id right so not the entire object but the specific thing that booking response status it is going to compare right so everything is going fine this test should pass right uh no so we have this uh, fraud check verify so this will fail uh, because this verification will fail right so let's uh, let the test run so this is failing but the it should be the verification part yeah so fraud check verification right so we missed to remove this one so because we are doing the changes in the existing test cases that is why this is happening yeah so this is passing right so there is no stubbing no direct stubbing is here in our case right so if i show you the pay money api here we are getting the request here right so two times we executed and two times we are getting this one this call so our actual api our pay money api is in picture but in this case in this case uh, pay for booking only payments endpoint is being hit right and pay, uh, payments is existing this development is complete now coming to the gate uh, this fraud check right so what if fraud check is into picture so what will happen so it will try to contact that but that is not uh, there will be no response so so what, how our test will uh, we have let's see that so let me go ahead and create one more test case here test case 2 let, let all the things be same but only set the fraud alert as true so that it can call the fraud and check endpoint right so for the verification part i have to uh, i can skip that not an issue right so if i because we are just concerned on the stubbing part and mixing the uh, implemented and unimplemented part so i hope you have guessed what exception we are going to get here so there will be 404 exception not found because there is no internal stubbing in the wire mock here and it is for all the requests it is going to hit the actual one right so yeah 404 not found for which request yeah it is giving you that for fraud check this request there is no mapping so our, so how we can do that right so we can introduce the stubbing here right so for for the first endpoint that is implemented it will get the re, uh, response from the actual one and which is not implemented which is not implemented that will be stub here right and how to do the how to writing the stub for the fraud check you know that right so this is the url path equal to fraud check this one and blacklisted it will return false so if i execute this what should be the response it should be successful when it is success then we are done with the with this video we have mixed the prox uh, implemented and unimplemented part both so this is how we can do the proxy part yes it is successful right so this is done so the magical thing is happening from this line stuff for any url will return a response a response means uh, it is uh, giving whatever response it is giving 8082 right so your test cases are hitting wiremock server port on 8080 and wiremock is internally calling this 8082 right so first it is calling this one if the response is there it is going to get the response from there if it is not there it is going to check internally if there is any stubbing for the matching request if it is there it is going to get the response from there if it is not there it is going to throw the 404 exception right so this is how you can do the selective proxy part go ahead and mix up other things other endpoints with this one right so this is very short video but very efficient and very useful if this is the matching use case for you right so 
coming to this part now so we have done this selective proxying part next is next is fault simulation with the var mockers where it's server error and there are different kind of exceptions that can third party uh, server can throw right so how we can simulate that uh, that kind of uh, faults in our uh, while doing the uh, while writing the test right so i'll explain that in the next video right so till then you play around with the existing videos and existing use cases and uh, at and as always all the source source code are coming to the same repository you can just clone it download it and play around with this i'll see you in the next video till then take care bye bye